Greetings, celestial co-creators of the 5D New Earth Manifestors, rising like the phoenix from the ashes into the golden age of the New Eden. We had another powerful day of activations. Today, with the solar cycle 25, we had one of the most powerful sunspots, which is affecting Earth's atmosphere. We had a 43 hertz manifestation on the Schumann charts and a 36 with the 7 and the 9 energies. And if you look at the charts, many codes coming in, we had several white blasts of light symbolizing activations from the higher dimensions. We're feeling the 7D energies coming in, pulling us up through the 4th density into the 5th dimension, 5th density. So... I know many people are still trapped in the 3D, but those that are awakening and rising up, we're resonating in between 3, 4, and 5, up into the 7th and touching on the 12th. So these higher dimensions are assisting all star blossoms, star seeds of this final activation, final mission of rising through 4th density into 5D, fully, fully awake, fully conscious, and fully aware. We had over 174 M1.5 or greater earthquakes today. The most powerful, we had two 5.8, which is the 13 energy, 1313 of the divine goddess in both on the ring of fire. One in Vanuatu on the western side of the ring and on the eastern side in the sacred portal in the Andes mountains where our sacred condor flies high in Chile. La Serena 5.8. We had many activations in the crown today in Alaska, the Lucian Islands. 5.5. Five. We had a 5.5 five in Chile. We had a 3.6 in Sandpoint, Alaska. New Zealand 4.9. Japan 4.8. Peru in the Sacred Andes 5.6. Puerto Rico 3.2. 5.3 in Indonesia. The Sacred Portal of Turkey 4.4. Four. Another 4-1 in Chile, Fiji 4-5, and in the southern point of the Ring of Fire, Pacific Antarctic Ridge of 5-4 with the 9 energies. A 4-4 in Papua New Guinea, Texas 3-9. Two activations in Chile, right in a row, a 4.0 and another 4.0. The 4-4 and the 8, 5.4 again in the trunk of Ganesh in the South Shetland Islands of Antarctic. With a 5-4 with a 9 energy, Easter Island, the sacred portal, 5-3 with another 8 manifestation. Then the last 40 minutes ago, 4.0, it is currently 5.05, I started this at 4.55. That was at 22.14 UTC with a 3.1. So again today, the whole ring of fire totally lit up. And we're feeling these energies of the full blue moon coming in. This Halloween on Saturday, Saturn Day. So many are feeling these activations in the higher heart center and in the crown and the soul star chakra. We're going to start today's first transmission, a prayer for the world from Auntie Minnie, shared by Divine Sister of the Light, Catherine Hand. Great Eternal Mother and Father, we have beheld the world with all its suffering and misery, and we have beheld the evil which seems to triumph. The good, for the most part, have surrendered to their despair and hopelessness in a world stripped of spiritual truths. We have seen the greedy gathering wealth unto themselves, becoming bigger and fatter at the expense of others. Let those to whom the gods have revealed the truth make this truth to grow, so that the world may be illuminated by it, and that the children of the future may live in happiness in the knowledge of this truth. May the great gods help this world to triumph over the evil that has befallen it. Anti Minnie Mace, elder of the Koa people of southeast Queensland, Australia, the land of Oz. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. Something exciting is happening on the sun that impacts our evolution. The biggest sunspot of the new solar cycle 25 is happening in now. And that's synchronic with the 7, the 43 hertz on the Schumann, 
and the 2577, the sacred 77. It's nearly 100,000 kilometers wide and has already activated Earth's upper atmosphere. Perhaps you felt it when the Schumann resonance spiked today. It's like turning up the volume inside the body to loud. While this sunspot isn't Earth-facing as yet, sensitive, intuitive souls feel these explosive shifts as they occur on the sun. They vibrate out into our solar system and shift consciousness. It's yet another reason why your dreams have been so vivid and telepathy turned on to high. From ElizabethPeru.com And today from Cosmic Gateway Divine Sister of the Light, Alicia Brash. Certainly the heavy energies from the weekend have shifted. Now we prepare for the full moon in Taurus on the weekend. We now have a very large sunspot emerging from the sun which could create another geomagnetic storm this weekend during the time of the peak of the full moon energies. Oh Lord, definitely a tight squeeze as we push through into November, mega truth coming to light, darkness being massively exposed, and the insights are also profound and life-changing. Symptoms and sensations might experience with solar flares, solar plexus activity, feeling anxious, uncomfortable, and lots of fear rising up for no apparent reason. The solar plexus is directly connected with sun energy, tingling sensation on the lips, huge inspiration, insights, and downloads. This is a time where our consciousness has the opportunity to expand to greater heights and next level. Energy influx in the body, feeling the vibrational energy charges as our bodies are adjusting to higher levels of frequency. Little or no sleep, also very heightened dreams and lots of dream space activity. Headaches, intense head pressure and crown and third eye as our consciousness expands. Aches and pains in the body, especially the legs. Pain in the spine as the energy channel clears and opens. Heightened emotions, heightened mental patterns, irritability, triggers coming up for release. Things you can do to alleviate these symptoms. Drink plenty of water. Rest, rest, and more rest. Meditation and balancing your energy. Connect with nature. Be gentle with yourself and others. From Cosmic8Way.com Today from Jamie Romero. As the frequency of the earth continues to rise by the minute, coming through the many ancient portals activated on earth, and especially through the star seeds, lightworkers, and the higher realms are being anchored on earth at this time, Continue to shine your light. The light upgrade, which is to culminate in the winter solstice, is preparing to enter the earth. This will bring more realizations to those awaken and trigger those who remain asleep. All are to see that this world truly is changing, and not as it once was perceived. All the gifts and talents from your past lives are beginning to come forward for many as the soul star chakra is being activated in more and more people. Working and clearing your soul star chakra, which is the eighth chakra above your crown, once fully balanced, you gain access to the Akashic Records. This will be a gradual process, not a one-time swoosh. Most souls who are hearing these words will be called at one point or another during this shift to be of great assistance to others. This may require you getting out of your comfort zone, as these huge waves of light continue to be released from the great central sun of the galaxy, the light of these waves is penetrating all of earth and humanity at their deepest core, activating cleansing and bringing many to remember once again who and what they truly are and being shown more of their true divine origins. Why are you here? You are here to anchor the energies of divine love on earth. You are here because you have done this many times before. You have achieved mastery in vast amounts of other lifetimes and you are here to do it again, to be a walking sun so that others may shine their own light within. Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light Pars Kute, the final battle update, October 27, 2020, under the Operation Joel Near, Wipeout Sequence 1 and Wipeout Sequence 2 complete. Higher dimensional cosmic energies are flooding our earth and consciousness and raising our collective vibration right now. The more we ascend, the more we see darkness leaving our planet. All the seeming chaos we see in the mainstream media is the birthing pain of a new earth, victory of the light. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Maria Nessa, 
we are going through a monumental shift. If you are feeling overwhelmed within or feel you are experiencing a conflict within your being or have physical or emotional pain, you may practice the following. First, I wish to add that we are currently going through a stage where all fragmented parts are being restored. Our soul is calling us to the purest stillness within, so that we may be whole again. Many on the planet have gone through tremendous amounts of trauma and suffering, and it has been agreed that all will receive healing and will receive assistance if they are made aware of the conscious choice to do so. If you are ready and are aware, you may start doing the following practice or say the following out loud. I am my highest version of self. I ask to be restored to wholeness, where all fragmented parts of my being are made whole. I now ask for the Divine Mother and Father of my soul essence and purest I am to hold me in a sweet embrace. I ask to be lifted from all that no longer serves my highest good. I ask that all my parts of self in the physical, mental, causal, etheric, astral, plasma, and emotional planes be made whole and return to my pure stillness of my soul essence. Purify, harmonize, and shower me with divine love, joy, beauty, healing, peace, grace, wisdom, and abundance. I ask to be reunited with my twin flame and that healing is sent to me via my highest soul essence of self. You may demand if asking is not an option anymore as all are worthy in the ascension stage we are now in. I wish to add that we are currently being bombarded with cosmic energies and many will now start to feel the ancestral feelings and emotions. Current emotions may leave a bitter taste. However, it is something we all have to move through. It is not the most comfortable as we are being reconstructed to our purest perfection as we are divine heavenly souls being returned and being reminded of who we really are. May all be blessed and take care. I wish to add that it is important to look for beauty, for that which brings joy and love. Be reminded that not all will see you. What is important is that you see yourself. In love and light, Maria Nessa. Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Daniel Scranton. Collaborating with Pleiadians, Syrians, Lyrans, and Andromedans. The 9D Arcturian Council. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are offering you these transmissions to help remind you of who you have been and to beckon you towards who you are becoming. You all need to have the gaps filled in somehow and in some way so you don't fall into the trap that says you are only a human being living on earth. Many of you never considered the idea that you had past lives in other parts of the galaxy until well into your adulthood. It is hard for your minds to accept those types of possibilities as true. Even though from our perspective it makes perfect sense, you didn't just pop into existence there on earth one day. You have a history. You have friends spread out across the entire galaxy and beyond, and you are having memories and aspects of yourselves awakened through these transmissions as we are sprinkling in so much more than just the words that Daniel can come up with as he speaks for us. There is a much bigger picture here, and some of you are aware of that picture. Some of you take the time to go beyond what your minds can grasp, and you feel for the experience of having those gaps filled in by just one collective from one star system. We do work with others as well. We collaborate. We allow the Pleiadians, Syrians, Lyrans, Andromedans, and so on to drop bits and pieces into the energies that we transmit through this channel because we do want you to get the whole picture of who you are and who you have been, and you will return to all of our star systems and ones you've never even heard of when the timing is right. For now, keep looking to the skies and keep feeling for the resonance with extraterrestrial energies. We are here to assist. We are here to help you. And even our little group of collaborators here is just one of many. You are getting activations to fill in those gaps all the time, and we are not alone in the universe. And of course, neither are you. It's time to recognize that you are a part of this grand history that makes up this galaxy. And you are the pioneers out there on Earth, doing the best you can to unite all of the energies so that we can become a unified galactic collective. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. From DanielScranton.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, one 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 eight eight.
there is a final death and release of everything that's interfered in your union with the Most High. Karma is balancing, bringing more youth and financial abundance to you. You are completing your ascension of the Divine Feminine Christ, Sisters of the Rose. This is our genetic coding and ancestral oaths to fulfill, completing the oaths of our bloodline and Israelite heritage. The oaths and Templar oaths have been to protect the Magdalene Seed branch and the Holy Spirit for this prophetic time of union with Creator. You are on the path of completion of the rise of the Divine Feminine Christ into Shekinah, the Holy Spirit. This is happening for you and your Holy Grail counterpart. We are one. Rapid purging and detoxing of everything that is an abomination of Christ within and around you has begun. This is to raise the real you as a 144 DNA match with Christ, our Lord and Savior. Have faith that you are received what you need to become a harmonic brain match with the Most High. God is replacing what's been stolen from us. Remain strong and vigilant as he purifies us all and ends all contracts with the enemy. Focus on receiving all that the Most High is giving you, including new perspectives and ideas, especially around financial abundance and remuneration. November 2020 is our season where the Divine Masculine Christ are rising into their warriors of Jah, templates, becoming one with Creator. They are to rescue and redeem the Divine Feminine Brides of Christ to complete their mission. This is part of their destruction of the Jezebel spirit that created division in your union. Be patient and trust that they will find and rescue you. You are safe. You hold the key. It's in your DNA. God is putting his all, his full attention into removing falsehoods, false people, and past life relationship cycles of separation for good. He is putting his all into your remuneration. Accept this opportunity of love and path home to the Holy Spirit union with Creator that is here. In Yeshua's name, Amen. All praises to the Most High. Alleluia. Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 213, Red Overtone Skywalker. Overtone is the name for the number five, and its keywords are empower, command, and radiate. The gear changes in any wave spell are linked by the color of the first day. So as this is the red moon wave spell and the first day is red, then the fifth, ninth, and last day are the same color. These gear changes shift the energy of the wave spell. The first day begins the journey. Today, the fifth day marks the point where the energy noticeably increases. The ninth day is a high gear and the last day marks the end. Today, we can all make use of this gear shift and harness that energy. This is why it is an empowering number. Today is Red Skywalker and it represents wakefulness, space, and exploring. An empowered Skywalker is quite a force to be reckoned with, but in a good way. Skywalker always entices us to go exploring, to think outside the box, and be a little unconventional. Today we can all shapeshift into Skywalkers and enjoy the feeling of empowerment through our brave adventures. The guide today is the Red Dragon, which symbolizes birth, nurturing, and being. It's a very interesting day with empowering adventures led by a dragon. This suggests that we are being encouraged to do something new and to feel nurtured by that decision. The challenge today is the blue night which represents dreaming. The blue night would rather stay in bed and dream than to go out into the world and explore. Don't miss out if you are a blue knight. Push yourself a little harder and you too can be very empowered today by stepping outside your door. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Red Overtone Skywalker, Kin 213, 28 October 2020. Radiant Expansion. 28 10 2020 equal 10 10 2020 equal 20 20 20 equal 6. 20 2020 Triple Awakening Portal. 10 10 2020 Manifesting Clear Vision Awakening. 28 reset planning for the future 10 manifestation authority power 1 new beginnings leader original 6 heaven christ consciousness harmony kin 213 equals 6 heaven christ consciousness a radiant manifestation portal of infinite expansion through new birth day 5 in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our flow 
Today we are exploring how to expand our reality through infinite radiance and commanding it into being, opening the floodgates for greater flow. Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm. Action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. The emphasis today is on empowerment and radiance through the action of command. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul, essence, through a pure connection to source. This is the source of unlimited power. Today we are empowering our authority through new leadership opportunities. The overtone tone aligns beautifully with today's hidden superpower, the yellow star which wants us to sparkle and glow. It is time to find the flow and to set your soul aglow. And so mote it be, precious hearts, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, time traveling, and sky walking. Tune in and align with the endless cosmic flow. It is time to take command of your life and expand into your unlimited avenues for expansion of your soul's desires and purpose. Today's question is how can I birth a greater, more empowered, and radiant version of my expanded self through my soul's desires and greater divine purpose? Divine blessings for exploring and expanding into endless realms of possibility today. Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 213, Red, Overtone Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I am power in order to explore. Commanding wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of birth. And on this most powerful day, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you are feeling, what you are experiencing, what you are seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd also like it to thank everyone for your support and pledges on Patreon and your donations. It's because of your pledges that I'm able to transmit these daily transmissions. And I rely now 100% on pledges and donations to pay my bills here and to keep myself fed. So thank you very much. I would like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Lorelei Fenton, for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd also like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Kate, for your pledge and support on Patreon. That is very much appreciated. I also would like to remind any patrons that two days ago I uploaded a special transmission from a powerful portal in Sedona, which will only be on Patreon. And today I'm uploading a special transmission up on Mount Shasta for all of you as a special gift for those that are assisting me on this great mission. So thank you all. It is much appreciated. Now I'm at a new location here in Washington overlooking this beautiful valley. Last night the sky was crystal clear. I saw ships and stars and some of our galactics came to me. I know one of the ships is the one that our divine sister of the light from Uluru, Grandmother Violet is on. She connected with me in Cleveland before I began this journey. Now she connects with me here to help myself and all of us, all of our angelic team here that are assisting humanity through this great awakening. And then today, there was this morning upon awakening as the sun was setting, there were layers of mist and layers of fog, which reminded me of Avalon, sacred Avalon. And it looked like the sacred dragon's breath. And today, as I connected with Chief, on a sacred journey, I brought my dragon staff, or I should say my soul star family's dragon staff. It is ours for this, our mission together, which very soon I will start transforming to one of the most powerful staffs in this realm. I call her Merlin, the sacred staff. And as I connected with the energies of this 
dragon lines in this area in Washington State. Pachamama brought me many of our animal nations, the winged of the blue, the blue jay of the winged nation, and then the serpent, the snake, as he slithered across the path in front of me, creating this most beautiful sine wave. Then she brought me several beetles and a couple golden retrievers today, our doggy friends, for the doggy medicine. So there were two experiences of pure awareness with the dogs and then two intense experiences with dogs. There was a white dog that seemed very upset or very uncomfortable in the back of this pickup truck as it would go off on anyone that would walk by. And I felt this energy of a type of disturbance in the field as we're raising through this full moon energy and the wolf energy, as I spoke about yesterday, I'm staying, the location I'm staying temporarily for the next 10 days or the next nine days now in the sacred, the top of the sacred valley with the wolf family. This dog and wolf energy as our powerful totems are coming through. So we have the loyalty and the love of the dog and the power of the wolf that runs sometimes alone, but mostly in a pack. So we're, we're seeing this tribal energy, the energy of our tribe. And I connected today with Divine Brostar, the light blue wolf, which we're supposed to speak tomorrow, who has a place in Shasta that's the fourth generational grandson of our great chief, Sitting Bull. So I'll let you know what we converse about tomorrow, which our Divine Brostar, the light Oscar, and connected me with him. And Blue Wolf gifted Oscar with the most beautiful owl wing fan, beautiful work of art, and a powerful spiritual tool, which I had the honor of experiencing its power a few days ago after an arconic attack. So we'll be sharing this with you in the next couple days. And there's many other things that are coming to manifest. But for now, we'll keep it at that. And we'll end this today because, for one thing, this... The internet where I'm staying right now is very, very slow. So it's taking hours to upload these transmissions. So I'll probably be behind a day or two, depending on how I can work this thing out. So bear with me and we'll get her done. Nothing's stopping us now. So keep feeling into these energies as you're anchoring the codes, the frequencies, the resonance into Pachamama, into the crystalline core through your rainbow bridge. And then manifest it out. It is important right now to hold your vision for at least a 73 second count of what you want to see for the new earth. What you want to experience as heaven on earth. The universe, the cosmos, this realm, the energy field needs our guidance as co-creators together as a collective. As the 144,000 rise up holding the vision of peace, harmony and abundance for all life, all beings all sentient beings of pure consciousness in every realm, every timeline, as we merge and connect with every aspect of ourselves and each other and all beings in all realms, all dimensions, all timelines, here now for this final mission of 3D into 5D so that we can live in this eternal bliss consciousness forevermore. And there is no plateau. We keep rising and expanding through eternity. And as infinite multidimensional beings of light, we can experience anything that our heart desires, anything that is in our pure resonance with unconditional love, light, and bliss. So thank you all for joining me on this great mission. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate you all. Keep shining your light brightly into the night and walking your sacred path with heart, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.